Alright, go for it. We should get now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, nice and early out here. We're gonna work on the 240s, preparing the car for our drift event coming up February. So as you guys saw, I did the manual swap already. Today we're gonna do the weld a diff out of his shell and swap it with the open I have in mind and then probably go test it later. I also picked up some PBM coilovers because the D-Max, they're just not cutting. Like, they go low enough, but my ride quality is not the greatest. And PBMs, I always wanted PBMs since I bought the SC. I just never, like, spent money on coilovers since I had the Cuscos already on the car. So figured I'd spring for some new coils because, you know, stiffer equals better ride quality, right? Yeah, that's something like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that today probably keep it the same height if not go lower but I can't really go that much lower because these tires already rub I have new wheels on the way um, it's another pair of blitz 03s so I'll finally have a full set because I only had a pair of these um, but ordered them they're gonna come in on Thursday and yeah we'll have a full set be ready for the drift event our drift event got pushed back again so um, February 5th was supposed to be the new date. We don't know what the new date is now because just scheduling issues. The guy that's hosting it with us, he um, can't get the day off from work since his boss won't let anybody take like Super Bowl weekend off. So we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully we get to drift. Um, we'll probably go slide this today once we swap the diff and the coils. Just test out the car finally because I haven't, I haven't even attempted to slide it once I swapped it to manual because once I... Uh, got the car back, drove it to work, and it died on me. Um, I had to swap out a new alternator and alternator fuse, but now the car is back and running. But yeah, here's Reg's S14, looking clean, and his coupe that is all um, stitch welded and like a full-on serious build drift car, no motor, no interior right now, but that's future plans. And then we got my 240 R32 looking thing. Yeah, it was weird. Like, but driving through the city was clear, and as soon as you get on the Bay Bridge, it's just a wall of fog. I was like, what That's the hell? That's fucking fantastic. You're leaking gas. I am? Yeah, there's like dripping. Dripping what? That's probably water. Oh, yeah, it is probably water. You like it's gas? <laughs> the hell? Because you can right just here. put them under and not care. Yeah, if the car falls on it, it's like, okay. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. I, I'm not about that life. All my wheels are rare and expensive. Yeah, all your wheels are way, rare and stupid. <laughs> rare and stupid. Exactly. Spot on. I just have cheap reps and like a couple rare wheels. <laughs> Dude, that car looks amazing though. The S14? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The S14? That no bumper gang. So lit. Here's a better look at the PBMs, guys. Uh, 10k fronts, 8k rears. Um, currently, I'm running eight in the front and six in the rear and it's just a bit too bouncy so um i think it's more the dampening and the fact that you know one one is a godspeed one is a godspeed and one is a d-max so i think that more the issue here than just the simple fact of spring rates so those are gonna be for sale they're not blown or anything guys so don't like flip out they're just kind of mixed matched so it's three D Max and three uh, and one Godspeed. That's how I bought it. The guy sold it to me. He uh, that's how he's running it. Ran fine. I'm running it. Runs fine. It's just a little bouncy, and I've always wanted PBM, so that's why we're switching over. Then got some Redline 7590 gear oil for the diff, because we don't know the condition of the diff in his car. We know it's welded. Um, we're gonna bust it open, change the fluid, throw it in do some tests. Alright guys, when you pull out your diff, you want to take off the bolts from the drive shaft. These two I was able to get from the bottom, but I gotta let down the e-brake so I can turn the dip, uh, the drive shaft and then get the other two that are on the other side. They are 14s by the way. Alright, got the drive shaft unbolted. 
got one side of axle bolts taken off, fought my way through mountains of debris and dirt falling in my eye. But here are all the axle bolts, hella dirty, probably gonna clean them before I throw them back on. But I got this side to do still, which is actually relatively clean. That side, for whatever reason, was hella dirty. That's not optimal. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'll run it like that. It's no, fine. those guys that run it like that. Once all the axle bolts are out, then you come here, get these four back bolts off, and then you want to make sure you put a jack under the diff so that you don't drop this diff on yourself. <sighs> Fuck, I can't do this one-handed. <laughs> over here laying down all comfy like <laughs> on the on the comfy cardboard and he's going to drop the diff now for the first time ever in his life okay drop it come on there you go there you go that's out and then a diff dropped under his face and he died no it's not gonna work like that there you go there you go now move forward there you go if you did it like me you just fucking wiggle it out until it falls <laughs> That's what I did. Okay. Yeah, you should. See how it's getting caught on top of that ridge right there? What? Right there on that on the axle. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. yeah, just lift it, push the axle up and out of the way. <laughs> yeah, you wanna move the axle up. There you go, you got it out now. The axle is. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, see now move that. There you go. Okay, now the jack now it will yeah. fall. The diff is going to fall now. <laughs> you want me to just have it fall? No, All right, let's, it's fine. Hey, stop, stop. There you go. It's good. <laughs> it's good. We're good. Diff is in. Everything's tight. We're about to take off the blitz and the works so that we can install the PBMs oh, finally. Sure can be ballers. Yeah. We really want to go test drive the car with just the diff in, but we know like the car's already jacked up, might as well just take Where off the wheel. Yeah. Well, let's measure them now and Yeah, we'll make them the same way. Oh god. It's scaring me. There you go. So yeah, that was hella easy. Um which ones do you want to match them up to? You want to be super legit and match them? All right, Reg. About to break up some special tool here. Hey, what about the micrometer? Oh, well, why isn't it inches? It's an inches because we're in America. No, fuck that. America. Oh, pro tip. <laughs> you're not supposed to let. You're not supposed to see the bottom of the, the bottom of the hole, or it's unsafe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that was unsafe because they didn't have it like that. <laughs> Hey, that perfect fitment though. Yeah, see? Putting in the PBM coils, and uh, Jer wants to go stupid low, yeah. but you know, what do I know? I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Nope. <laughs> yeah. no, just have a free... Oh, wait, what am I doing? You have a strut bar. I'm surprised you haven't done the red flake on all of them yet. Yeah, I've been lazy. And not had any time actually. Yeah, no, you're hella busy. Okay. Cool, that's one sign. Okay. Now I'll tighten up the locking perches too while you're at it. Oh, no, that one yeah, that one's loose. Yeah. Cool. There you go, he's tightening stuff, guys. Yeah, tighten that. Alright, guys. Car is good to go. We're about to go test drive it. Um, I'm a... This guy over here says it's a fucking monster. Yeah. Look the, at that shit. The car is fucking hell high. No, I don't know if, if you guys go rewind to the beginning of the video and look at the difference. Like, look it's at that. It's not even that look much of a difference. Look at this gap. Dude, oh dude, my god, dude, that's so high. God, he's such a bitch. I'm about to lower it as soon as I leave Reg's house because he's he's like, oh, you're the perfect height for drifting. Nah, no, 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 no. We're going lower. I don't care what Reg thinks. We're slamming this bitch. PBMs are in. Diff is in. We're going to go test drive it. See if everything's good. Um, I still got to clean up and go over all the bolts. Um, make sure all my lugs are tight and whatnot. This is a wrap for this episode. Oh, my phone's hella dirty. Um, wrap for this episode for the most part. Um, 
got the coilovers out. I'm gonna sell those. Anybody wants them, they'll probably be sold by the time this video is uploaded. Yeah. Um, garage is semi clean. We'll work on it a little bit more next yeah, time. Yeah, we need to start welding. Yeah. With the Lincoln. Reg, Reg now has a welder, so gonna learn how to do some welds on that. Yeah, so my seats are still broken. So um, to update you guys on like what needs to be done before the event, I just really need to get the seats. Um, and then just like little stuff like creature comforts. Like I need to wire in my cigarette lighter and fix my speaker. But other than that, that's not like, that doesn't need to be done for the drift event. It's the seats, the, no, the only thing. everything. You don't need seats. <laughs> just gut the whole thing. Gut the whole entire car. Um, but yeah, that's a wrap. We're and gonna go <laughs> daily a drift car. Yes. We're gonna go. Um, hey, I do it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Reg's car is like hella hot boy. Um, but we're gonna go pick up Reg's S13. It's uh, stuck at Jason's house. Um, we're gonna tow it home and then maybe drop the clutch. Yeah, maybe drop the clutch. I don't know if that'll be in this episode uh, or if I do a new episode. Or... We'll see. We'll figure it out. Um, but peace.